in uh, the Twin Cities, we just like to acknowledge that we know that we do this work on the ancestral homelands, the unceded ancestral homelands of the Dakota, um, and we also acknowledge that giving a land acknowledgement is just one of the steps that we must do in order to decolonize cultural spaces and to decolonize our world from Turtle Island to Palestine. Um, so thank you for being here. This film is, it, it's like the, the thing we look for every year. We're always trying to find animated films that we can screen, especially for younger younger folks, because so much of the content that we show at Vizna feels pretty adult. And while the, the content and the story of this film is definitely something that is much maybe more suitable for, for adults, um, the way that it's presented makes it really accessible to young people and to, and to children. And so it's great just to, we look for this all the time and we never really find it. And so we were just thrilled that this existed and that it was beautiful. Um, I want to read a statement to you because this was a film that got a, it was sort of the second choice of our narrative. We give narrative feature prizes and documentary feature prizes and short film prizes that are juried awards. We also give audience awards, so that's what your ballots are for, so do make sure to fill those out, um, have your voice heard for films that you really like. Um, but this film was the second choice of the narrative jury, and so they wrote a little statement um, and made sure to mention it. I'm just gonna read that to you. Um, they said, Dunya and the Princess of Aleppo is a tiny film focusing on the plight of those making a treacherous journey across the Mediterranean to seek refuge in Europe at a time when most of the world's attention has shifted away from this ongoing calamity. It is poignant and whimsical in equal measure, and the magical realist elements it employs well over to the narrative, as well as the strong family and neighborly bonds that transcend fear and displacement make this film a classic, an instant classic. Um, so enjoy this film. It's really great to see folks out for it. Um, this one isn't online. Uh, they didn't want to share it that way, so this is really the only opportunity you'll have to watch it in Minnesota probably for a while. Um, so, but do tell folks about it if you like it so that it just gets more buzz in the US and potentially more screenings. Um, don't forget to fill out your ballots. Come back for the next two days. We still have two days of film programming and a lot of visiting artists uh, to hear to talk about their films today and tomorrow. So thanks for being here. Enjoy the film.